Hi there, it's Nicole Spohr and welcome back to my channel. This week over at the Lawn Fun blog, we are celebrating favorites. And one of my favorites, it's so super hard to choose, but one of them is the mice images from across so many different stamp sets. So I thought it would be super fun to take some of my favorite things, which tend to be like office essentials, and pair them with something that I've actually never got a chance to use, which is the pop-up desk. So not only are we going to have a scene on the front of the card, but on the inside of the card. And we are going to start with the inside of the card today. I am coloring the pop-up desk, which I've die cut from smooth white cardstock using Copic markers. Now, my E43 was a little dry, so that was kind of some of the reason for all of the graininess or the wood grain, quote unquote, that you can see in this, which kind of worked out in this case. I did refill the marker part of the way through because blending was going to be so super horrible if I didn't. So I have uh, ink blended, or not ink blended, I have refilled my marker and now I'm simply coloring in the desk. Now with the desk, we need to do the top, we need to do the front, then we need to do the legs, but not the part of the back of the legs that you can see here, the other side. Basically anything that is going to be visible when the desk is popped up. This might be a little bit more self-explanatory when we actually place the desk in the inside of the card, but you can see that I'm using big sweeping strokes across my desk to kind of help give that wood grain look. And here are the back of the legs that will be visible, so you can see that I'm coloring those in as well. And then I really just kind of kept working at it till I got a blend that I felt looked good. I'm going to go ahead then and score the desk along the score lines. I'm using my bone folder to get nice crisp scoring. This is really important for any type of pop-up um, interactive element as this helps it pop up correctly. And then from here, I can see that that back little panel that hangs down is gonna be visible. So I went ahead and added a quick swatch of color there as well. And I, for all of those who have missed my dog snoring in the background, he is snoring today. So that is the snoring sound that you can hear. There is desk drawers that you can layer on top of the desk or on the front panel of the desk. I think they're darling. There's also desk knobs. I am not gonna use those today. I'm actually just gonna kinda color it in and then add some glossy accents. But you can if you want to, mostly because many of the drawers are gonna be, that part of the drawer will be covered up because I am putting lots and lots of critters. This is one of those cards that has a lot going on. I don't do um, tons of these, but I do love every once in a while kinda going all out if you will. And it's so easy to do with Lun Fawn. Um, so many cute things. Now I'm taking a little alcohol pad here and cleaning up any Copic marker that might be on my glass work surface so that I don't accidentally uh, contaminate something else I am coloring later on. So that's what I was doing there. I left it in just so you could kind of see my process. Now while the desk is still flat, I am just going to place a little glue right on the desk front. I know it's hard to see on camera, but in real life you can see the outline of the drawers. And I'm going to pick up my drawers with a with an embellishment wand rather, and pop those in place. Look how cute. That little detail really, in my opinion, just brings up the desk a notch. Now let's put adhesive on anything that's gonna to be touching the actual card base. That's the back of the card, the back of the legs, and then the tabs along the front edge so the one where the drawers are and then on the other side. And I accidentally moved one of the drawers because the liquid glue is still wet, so I had to move that back in place. 
Now I used a large stitched rectangle die to die cut some lawn fawn paper. This is from an older paper pad, um, but I loved the little banners in the background, the little heart banners, and then some honeybee stamps wood grain paper for the ground. So the banners are actually going to be in the background. The wood grain is going to be the floor of the office. Um, I said background. I meant wall of the office. Background, yes. And then I did cut another little strip with my paper trimmer for the baseboard. Using a stitched oval die and another piece of lawn fawn pattern paper, this is a little blue plaid pattern paper, I die cut a rug. I did die cut it off the edge so that there's a nice straight edge there. Now the thing about using that large stitched rectangle die to trim, or die cut rather, my floor and wall is that where they meet the seam of the card there might it might hinder the movement so what i did was that long side that meets the seam i actually took my paper trimmer and i trimmed down that die cut rectangle almost to the stitching line so that when i adhere this it comes right down to the crease in the card but doesn't actually cover it. The same thing is going to go for the floor. We're going to adhere it right up to the seam but not cover it. So the seam will still be there but it really helps the movement of this card. I place the flooring down first and then I'm going to put my rug down. Any kind of circular or oval type of die is going to be fantastic for this. And then I am going to, again, trim down the wall, kind of right up next to that stitching line, and place that on the top part of the card. We're basically building the background of our card first. We have our pop-up element, and then we are going to stamp and color all of the fun little goodies that we are going to use to create the inside of the card. And then we will come back and do the front of the card. So there you can see that that seam isn't covered, but I promise you aren't even going to notice. And then we'll place that little piece of baseboard, which I think just kind of helps ground the design a little bit. And I trimmed it long, and then I just will trim it down um, after I've adhered it to my card. And I actually think this is from a Christmas paper pad. You can see the snowflakes on the back, but I love this wood grain because it was nice and light, and I felt like it went really well with these Lawn Fawn pattern papers. All right, we'll just trim that off now. And we are ready to add our desk. So I like to remove the backing paper from the back pieces of the desk first. And then we're going to center the desk in the wall. You can put it anywhere you'd like, but I'm gonna center mine. And we're going to adhere it to the wall piece first. So let's figure out where that goes. Press that in place. I even like to use a bone folder to make sure it's nice and secure. Then we're just gonna kind of fold it up like so. Again, I'm going to kind of remake sure my creases all work well. We're going to peel off the backing paper with some tweezers from those front two legs of the desk, fold the card up, and there is our pop-up desk all ready to go. How cute is that? How many cards, could different kind of cards can you make with that desk? I even think a back to school for a teacher would be super cute with this. Then this computer, this little laptop computer, is from the pop-up desk set. I'm going to use Copic markers to color this in as well. Throughout the entire video, I have listed the Copic marker colors I am using across the top of the screen. You can also find that information over on my blog. I've listed out each um, image and then the colors I use to color that. So if you are looking for that reference, you can find that there. Now, the computer die cuts this without the screen behind it. There is a rounded rectangle that you can also place behind here, which is what I will do here in a little bit. 
but let's go ahead and stamp the rest of the images that we want to use for our card here on some Nina Smooth White cardstock. I'm using Den Sweet Den, Virtual Friends Add-on and Virtual Friends, Bubbles of Joy, You're Just My Type, all the clouds and year 10. Now you might have noticed it was really fast so I know that I sped this up quite a bit to save some time but Den Sweet Den actually has words in that little hanging frame picture frame. I wanted to create my own frames so I just used a post-it mask to mask off what is inside of the frame so that I could stamp it clear or clean I guess and then fill that with whatever I want from other stamp sets. Um, I believe Superstar and All the Clouds were what I used to embellish my frames, which you'll see here in a little bit. I'm going to start with coloring in the mice. They're kind of my theme throughout. We're going to have mice on the computer screen and we're going to have mice all over the office. Now, real mice, I don't really care for all that much. Cute little lawn fawn mice. I love uh, the mice the squirrels I don't know what it is about all those cute little critters but I just absolutely love them and there's so many mice in different stamp sets that you can mix and match as you can see here which I think is phenomenal because it really allows you to create the scene that you want to create this potted plant is really fun as well um, one of the things I came back to later was the year 10 uh, cactus, which I'm going to place on the other side of the desk, which you'll see as we kind of get to that point. But I started with what I thought I needed and then I filled in with extra things later on. There are going to be extras here just simply because I thought I knew what I needed. A lot of times um, an interactive card or a pop-up card is different because I feel like it needs more than what a traditional flat design might need. And so a lot of interactive cards, I start with, with what I think and then I fill in with extras as needed. I love this little light. There's a light in this, the uh, Den Sweet Den, but also the You're Just My Type has a cute little desk light as well. So there's a couple of different options. I use the Den Sweet Den lamp, but you could also use the desk light from You're Just My Type. I love this little cup of supplies. I love the stack of books. I am a sucker for a stack of books. This is also from Den Sweet Den, which is a bear critter stamp set. And I love that you can use the images from this with anything that you like. And I think it works really well in a desk setting. And so that's why I'm using that here. And I ended up stamping two stacks of books because I wanted extras for my card for the inside. I want to remind you to anything you see here is for the inside of the card. Once we have the inside of the card created, we're going to move to the front of the card and we're going to need a whole new set of images. So this is a little bit of a time. Um, it, it takes some time to put this one together, but I really loved the process and I thought it was a fantastic representation of my favorites from Lawn Fawn. Um, that was really important to me. I love that they're doing a favorites week from their designers and so this was super, super fun to put together. Lots of favorites here. Love the little coffee mug. There's coffee mugs and several stamp sets. Really just kind of look through your stamp sets. That was the most fun for me is I went through my stash and I shopped my collection. I know I talk about that a lot, but I love shopping what I have, seeing what I've got in my collection and what I can pull together to create a really cute design. So here is that little shooting star from Superstar. I'm going to stamp that. You can see I just masked off to one side. And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment you shine. We're basically looking for wall art. This little office inside of our card is going to have two hanging pictures. I know I only did one here. I, it was one of those things where I came back later and felt like I needed another. And then that fun little pennant hanging banner, uh, rainbow banner, that I think will really work with what I'm imagining is the wallpaper on the background of my card that has all those cute little heart banners. 
Lots of primary coloring here, rainbow coloring. Very bright, very colorful. I try to really match the feel of the pattern papers that I'm using with my color choices and go really colorful with everything in the office. The desk, of course, is gonna be that uh, neutral brown kind of wood grain look. The mice are all nice and light neutral brown. So I went very, very colorful with all of the accessories in my card. Once we have everything colored, we're gonna go and grab all of the coordinating dies for this. That does take a minute to grab all of these. And then we're going to die cut everything and we're gonna start assembling. And then once we have the majority of it assembled or at least laid out, we can then stamp and color anything else we might need for the card. You can see I've kind of laid some things out and I'm gauging from there what I need. This is the aqua piece that is gonna go back behind the computer screen. And then of course the little mouse is gonna be in there waving hello to the mouse sitting along the edge of the desk. That's kind of my plan. So I glued my mouse to the background and then I'm gonna put some glue around the back of the laptop and that laptop sits on the desk, so we want to make sure when we're adhering that that the de that the card rather will still open and close easily. So I'm going to do that really quick. Make sure kind of that it's on the desk where we want it. We will um, glue it to the background of the card in a minute. And there is our banner. Let's see, grabbing more little images here. I've sped it up to save time. I did trim one of the stacks of book books, not quite in half, yeah, in half, I forgot. It has only four, so in half. So one stack is along the right side on the floor next to the desk, and a mouse is sitting on that. The other is right there on the right side of the desk, two of the books, with a plant sitting on top of that. And then we've got our banner on the wall, a picture frame on the wall, our lamp on the desk, the cup of scissors and writing utensils on the desk, and then the mouse is sitting on the edge of the desk. So I've only glued on kind of the little uh, hiney and the tail. And then we've got a mouse sitting down here um, along the bottom of the desk. And luckily before the glue dried too much, I realized I kind of wanted to put those other two books and have it sitting on the books. So we're gonna just pop that in place really quick. I like that a little bit better and a great way to utilize those other two books. I trimmed it to begin with because the stack that the plants were on, I felt like the four books on the floor and then four books right next to it up on the table was too much. Now these are the extra images I felt I needed. That's the cactus from year 10, another picture frame, a flat book that we can lay on the desk, an open book that I can place um, kind of on the other leg of the desk, and the steam coming up from the cup of coffee. These are all things that after I had um, die cut and adhered everything I originally did that I felt I needed to complete the inside scene. So we're going to color these in really quick. Um, this other picture frame is where I really came up with the little picture or scene that's my favorite. And that is going to be the super cute little rainbow and sunshine. In fact, I loved it so much that I'm going to repeat it for the front of the card. And this is from All the Clouds. We're going to kind of do a half rainbow. I took the smallest rainbow from this. So we'll just do a quick little mask. And then mask the rainbow. This was really quick masking, you guys. Not super um, <laughs> high tech at all. And then the little sun. And then we will color in the rest of our images and die cut these and finish assembling the inside of our card. So just a quick little color of the sky with our aqua colors, BG11 and 13. Our sun is Y08 and 11. 
are 24 and 29, B2 and 06, and YR04 and 09. And then one last little book, and I felt like I didn't have a ton of orange on my card, so we're gonna go orange with that last book, which is YR04 and 09, with E40 and 43 for the pages of the book. We're gonna die cut these, we are going to pop them inside, and there is the inside of our card. We're going to stamp from my desk to yours from the virtual friends add-on using black ink because that's the second part of our sentiment i know we kind of went opposite but the inside of the card was really really important to me and then we're just getting that whole interactive element and then we will go and do the front of our card little glossy accents on the knob of the drawer was the last finishing touch i did that right now so that i can sit and let that completely dry i did take a black pen and add eye detail to my mice and then it's time for the front of the card now there's a lot of repetition in images or color so for anything like that i really didn't show the coloring on screen this desk from the virtual friends stamp set the chair from the virtual friends add-on i did show that simply because it's something different i know i maybe use different colors for the lamps uh, for the plant uh, and that kind of thing but they're the same colors you've seen throughout um, i'd really just try to concentrate the rest of my coloring here on just things you maybe haven't already seen i absolutely love that there is a desk chair that goes with the desk think about all the cute little sitting critters lawn fawn has you could do this with so many different sets and i think that that is really fun you can use any color here i opted to go a nice bright royal blue there's going to be a lot of aqua on the front of the card so i wanted something different for my chair but i wanted it to make sure and be colorful and then the thing is um, i didn't quite get all my images on this piece of paper so i have another piece of paper that has a little coloring as well because we have a computer a mouse not these kind of mice but a, you know a computer mouse that's kind of funny that i used mice but anyway, and then my other picture frame, that was the rest of the images for this because I kind of want it to feel like the front of the card, you're sending smiles from this desk, this office, to the office, you know, to, of your friend or, or family member or loved one. Um, that was kind of the feeling for my card. So a lot of that is um, a lot of the repetition here, but I wanted it to be two completely separate offices. We're gonna use a different rainbow design pattern paper for the wallpaper of this office, but it definitely, you know, coordinates beautifully with the one we used for the inside. A lot of the desk elements are the same. This desk, of course, is a quite a bit smaller, and it's gonna be all flat here on the front, so I don't need quite as many things, but we still have space to fill. And I will show you, I did use a little bit smaller footprint on the front with my stitched rectangle, which helps make the scene on the front. It frames it up beautifully, but it also kind of condenses it so that I don't have quite as much real estate to fill as the inside of the card. So there is the rainbow pattern paper. Instead of the large stitched rectangle, I used the largest small stitched rectangle for this. And then we'll use the large one to die cut the mermaid cardstock that we'll mat this on. So while it still looks about the same size here, when, you, when I mat it on the larger rectangle, you'll see it's a little bit smaller. We have our stack of books on the floor. We're gonna stack a plant on it. We have our desk. We have our computer on our desk. So on the desk itself, we're gonna have our computer, a lamp, the mouse, and the cup of writing utensils and scissors. We're gonna have our little mouse in the computer waving hello, just like before. We have a small little mouse. He's kind of running over here along the right side of the card. We have our picture hanging up on the wall. There's that plant. We have a mouse sitting in the desk chair. We have a mouse sitting on the ground. And the mouse kind of, the little mouse looking like he's running, I'm gonna have him holding actually this cup of coffee. 
and there's a little pe little steam coming up out of it like he's running it to the larger mouse sitting down there. So all we really have left now is our greeting. And that's going to be sending smiles from the virtual friends add-on. I die cut a banner using the folded fancy folded banner die. I die cut that from Simon Says Stamp Slate Gray Cardstock. And then I'm going to stamp Sending Smiles on this with the Lawn Fawn Embossing Ink and Heat Emboss with White Embossing Powder. I did slightly curve the ends of the sentiment to fit the banner nicely. And then what I love about these banners is they do fold and so I like to pop them up with a little foam adhesive and right above the computer, right above the desk, is going to be the perfect spot for our little banner and I love that it just naturally works there. No, I'm not normally a huge fan of something like this of having a sentiment offset from the center but with this particular design it really just feels natural. And I'm still messing around with my embossing powder apparently probably had some I needed to move and I've got it all over my desk. I hate when that happens, don't you guys? So we'll need to do a little cleaning up it looks like, but there is our fun little banner. Yes, there is me cleaning up the embossing powder mess. I knew I would not like that. And then we're going to fold the banner on those score lines. We're going to put like a little glue dot pardon me, I just dropped the card. Uh, where the banner folds down, we're gonna put a glue dot to hold the banner's shape, and then we're going to put foam adhesive back behind the center part of the card only. The little flag ends of our card are gonna be glued directly to the card base. So I'm put, putting my foam adhesive back behind the center portion, and then when I grab it here, I'm going to only, um, or adhere, the only part really popped up is the sentiment, middle part. And I'm so sorry that this part was off of, I was out of frame of the camera. I did not notice that till just now. Sometimes that happens. So there is my banner. And we're just gonna kind of pinch it. And I wanna center it right above the computer and you can see that those ends of the banner are directly on the card and the middle part is popped up just a tiny bit. So then I've got my uh, Lawn Fawn Mermaid stitched rectangle. This is the large stitched rectangle again, the size I used for the inside of the card. We're going to mat our rainbow panel, our little office scene right in the center of this. and then place the whole thing on our card front. And then I will show you opening the card and the cute little desk pop-up and the extra office scene inside. And of course, don't forget to take a black pen if you need to and add detail back to the eyes on your critters, in this case, the mice. I always think that's a great finishing touch. It really makes their eyes pop. So here I have my card front. I'm going to put some adhesive kind of all over the card front and place my panel on there. And I line it up with one corner and one side and then just kind of gently press that down in place. Look how cute! So the front is cute, but wow, that inside is so fun with the pop-up desk. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for Lawn Fawn Favorites using all Lawn Fawn stamps and dies for this really super fun interactive pop-up desk card. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Lawn Fawn products that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.